everyone, so this is your monthly capsule wardrobe video. As you guys know, I am five months pregnant now and I am discovering that more and more of my clothes are not fitting. Now the truth is, I would really secretly love to spend my whole entire time in my loungewear, my active wear, or even my soft, fluffy, free Samsung dressing gown. I could literally like live in this all day long and I would be so happy. But the truth is, if I was to do that, I probably wouldn't feel that great about myself. It wouldn't be great for my self-esteem or my confidence. I need to accept that some of my clothes won't fit and embrace being pregnant. Now for this video, I wanted to share with you some things that I'm doing to help maximize the length of my wardrobe without going out and splurging on a whole new wardrobe. I want to make sure I put some money aside for the baby, which I'll be sharing with you in a video later on. Now I'm really trying to be mindful with money. I do not want to go out and buy a whole new maternity wardrobe because I've only got four months left. I'm not going to be permanently pregnant for the rest of my life, but I also want to make sure I feel really good about myself. I embrace being feminine. I embrace all the beautiful curves that come from being pregnant and I feel good about myself. So for this video in the capsule wardrobe video, I wanted to share with you some little hacks that I'm doing with my wardrobe to make sure I'm getting the maximum out of my wardrobe and I feel good about myself. So tip number one, and that is to embrace a good old fashioned classic shift dress. There are days where I don't want to be wearing something tight. I'm feeling a little bit heavier or maybe a little bit more bloated than usual. And this is where a shift dress can come in really handy, just like this one. Now this was from Zara. I think it was about 69 or $79. I bought it in black and red. And I intend on wearing this after I've had the baby. But this is so good because it just hangs off my shoulders and just hits me on the thigh and just hangs. There's nothing tight or restrictive about it. And I can put on a nice pair of heels and feel really quite pretty and feminine and chic and stylish. And this particular neckline the uh, on the arms is really very classic and it's got a really cute little kind of schoolgirl. Um, sexy uh, pleat right down the bottom and I absolutely love this. I've had so many comments and people have actually assumed that this dress was really expensive when in fact it was actually really quite reasonably priced. Hack number two is to utilize stretch crepe fabric. Embrace all the beautiful curves that come from being pregnant. I bought this dress pre-loved from eBay. It actually came with the tag still hanging off so it actually hadn't been worn and it, I got it at about 70% off what I would have paid for it in the store. It's Camilla and Mark, an Australian label which is really well made and um, really classic style. Now the great thing about this dress, not only is it crepe so it's figure hugging all the way through, it's actually really quite long which is perfect as it starts to get a little bit cooler here in Sydney and I can really embrace all the curves and it even might make me feel a little bit sexy whilst I, my body is going through all these unusual and different changes every week. Hack number three is to embrace the waistline. Now this dress also actually came from Camilla and Mark and you would have seen me wear this recently at a couple of events on my Insta stories and as an Insta post. It was actually another really long dress. It's beautifully lined with a bright orange inside which kind of makes it really quite fun and interesting with that pop of colour with a very classic neutral colour. But being tight around here, it enables me to still feel really quite small, even though I'm growing everywhere else. So it embraces the curves, but also really enhances the smallest feature of my waistline. Also, the great thing about a classic dress like this is it's really versatile. I can very easily throw a turtleneck jumper or a crew neck jumper over the top, and then it transforms from not just being a dress, but a skirt and top and being quite long this is great for keeping me warm during winter but gives me a bit of airflow through this flap coming through here and you can easily style it with a beautiful belt if I want. Hack number four is to embrace floral flowing beautiful feminine fabrics. So this dress you would have seen plenty of times before it's a Zimmerman dress it's really pretty it's really feminine it's perfect for those days where I don't want to be wearing something tight I'm happy to wear something that's free flowing and relaxed and super comfortable. And being a beautiful soft fabric like this, it feels really feminine. And then the fifth and final hack is to get creative in the way that you're styling and wearing your clothes. 
I actually bought this dress recently and I wanted to make sure that I could wear this after I've had the baby. It was quite an expensive dress and I want to make sure I get as much wear out of this as possible and I don't want to be left with clothes that are going to be too big to wear once I've had the baby. So my secret hack with this is I don't actually zip it all the way up. I gather the fabric around the hole over the top so that no one actually has any idea that I'm not properly zipped up in my dress. And if at any stage I'm worried about someone noticing it, I can just throw a beautiful shawl or jacket over my shoulders that covers it up but it means I can get as much life as possible out of this dress because as you guys know it's about getting your dollar per wear out of your clothes and only buying what you love value use and appreciate and I want to make sure I can appreciate this for as long as possible but I'm so excited about this again it's about embracing the waistline having beautiful soft feminine fabrics that enhances the feminine beauty and hangs off the body but also enhancing all the curves and small places that do still remain as is when you're pregnant so for anyone out there who's pregnant and looking at what they can do with their clothing, I highly recommend not going out there and splurging on a whole pile of new maternity clothes. If you do need to buy maternity clothes, look to the secondhand market. Most importantly, start within your wardrobe first. Get creative, see what other styles and looks that you can do, ways you can wear things in different ways, what you can let out, what you can bring back in, how you can layer things to create different looks. You really don't need to go out and buy a whole pile of new clothes and think about the money that you save save by not doing this you can put towards your baby's financial future how good is that now that is actually a video that I've got coming up so make sure you're subscribed to my channel but more importantly make sure you've switched on that notification button so you know the moment I have uploaded a new video for you now as I said all these beautiful dresses are linked in the video description box below so feel free to go and check them out now I really hope that you've enjoyed this video if you have any fashion hacks for me whilst I'm pregnant I would love to hear from you the sharing is caring and it's really helpful for everyone else who reads the comments to get new ideas new inspirations and new helpful handy tips and tricks so please make sure you comment and share your advice with me and everyone else and don't forget you can follow me on instagram at sugar mama and at my own personal account at canna sass all right everyone have a great week and i'll see you next week for money monday